Okay, what we want is a claim. We have no claims, uh, although we need to wait. We are at 7.5% threat level, which means that people will start making defensive pacts against us, which I forgot to turn off in the game settings for this game. So if we attack someone else now, then of course our threat level will go up. With over 50% all defensive pacts of other religious groups band together if you attack one of them. Yeah, no, we're just attacking people from our own religious group. Um, but yeah, they can make a pact against us as well. So we need to get our threat level below 5% for sure. Um, so that may take uh, at least half a year, probably monthly decay 0.41%. Um, yeah, so it will take a little while to go down, um, but we want to connect our lands, while well, it's connected through this little like mud path in the Wadersee, um, but we want to connect it with Hammerland, and I was thinking we should also get Ostfriesland. Yeah. And this is sticking out weirdly. Um, and then, of course, our kingdom that we want is this way. Right? The de jure kingdom. So that's what we're going for. Iper and, and Artois and these places here. So that's the plan. Right now, we need to wait. Yes, uh, I chose to learn to abstain from the excesses of the flesh. I, uh, I sent away most of my concubines and my lovers. I just have Walter for um, political reasons and uh, this priestess of Amsterdam because she uh, gave me a son so yeah that's the situation right now let's unpause it get to this wealth the second form neither by and formed a defensive pact opposing Babo de Ha. What did I just say? Well, we're getting. We're getting. Uh, defensive pacts against us. Oh, wait. Yes, that's uh, what I missed last time. Uh, last time I said I would finish the stream after the, the feast. The, What's it called? Diwali, right? Diwali? It's not even showing up right now. Anyway, um, and then I forgot about that because something else happened. And I couldn't remember what it was that I said that I would finish. But it um, doesn't matter. It's good that we start with a feast. Uh, the castle is decorated with flowers and colorful tapestries, carpets and ribbons. All the guests have arrived. There is a bustle of people, all eager and full of festive spirit. It's time for the feast to begin. Welcome all. And yes, this is like... Bavo is fat, right? He's the jovial patriarch. Oh, people are joining the defensive pact against us. Well, as long as it's defensive, we don't care. We'll just wait it out. Uh, at the feast, it's time for the traditional ceremony of gifts. And I had bought a little gift for my lover. Which insults my wife, but yeah, deep out. The darkest night. My wife, who is like, who went off like way south somewhere there. Um, and where she came from because her dad died, so she became the countess. 
so we're uh, we're quite estranged. The darkest night of Diwali is here, the most important night of the feast. Candles and lamps are lit everywhere. The guests stroll across the painted and decorated floor, wearing colorful dress. Rich and sweet food is served, and a drink is also plentiful. You celebrate the victory of light over darkness, good over evil, knowledge over ignorance, and hope over despair, and not to forget immortality over death. Let us celebrate. The feast is over, but it was a fantastic feast. As the guests make their way home, you sit down and smile to yourself, pleased at how things turned out. Yes, this is now really uh, the thing for uh, Bavo. I should do this again next year, most certainly. And we should pause here because we have some things to take care of. Uh, we need to find a wife for our heir, Berko, who is a genius and is very well first in theology and learning. A uh, good thing is that he's content and craven, although he is a little paranoid, um, because with uh, Bavo himself being immortal, there is little chance that he will get onto the throne anytime soon, if ever. Although we should give him a title. We should give him a title, and since he is so high in learning, I guess we should make him the Count of Brabant, which has one of our holy sites. But first we should get him married. And since he is now the son of a duke, we definitely need somebody uh, of rank. Right, although most of these are priestesses, that's not very good. Um, Chiefess of Nausea. Right, well, she's good in stewardship, but she's stressed. That's not too good. And she's already a chieftain, so there will also be a long-distance relationship, right? It's not something we really want for our son. He's not in a very uh, fortunate circumstance for himself, although he's... Yeah, Machtelt, courtier in West Frisland. Oh wait, that's our daughter. Um, yeah. Anastasia, courtier in Kefalonia. She has pretty good stats. She's patient, ambitious, arbitrary, not so much, but last fall. That might be a good one. She's a Rastrian, but. Yeah. Kefalonia is... Which of these again? Oh wait. It is this all. Kefalonia. Uh, let us see here. Dux Antonius, and we are talking about his daughter Anastasia. Mm -hmm. He is possessed. That's not so good. But he could become an ally if we ever go so far as to conquer Arta. Yeah, um, yeah, if you wouldn't mind terribly. Oh, wait, 
she's not of age yet. I would gain four, four prestige for marrying into House Paraspondylos and zero for marrying the relative of a dukes, a duke, a Greek duke. Right? Uh huh. Yeah. Let's do this. She only needs what? Half a year to get of age. So that should be fine. All right, he will get married if they accept it. But, and then we have some children who lack childhood focus. Okay, Uga, what are you good at? Martial and learning. And you already have a commander as your educator. You are a genius though, so let's assign a guardian who is a commander. Okay. Brilliant strategist. Uh, and he's just charitable, honest. Yeah, it is pretty good. And uh, we have a few more. Zuta. Diplomacy or learning, so duty, I am told is the most fitting for that. Uh, and then we want probably diplomacy, oops, yeah, uh, diplomacy, guardian. Oh, Idun. Yeah, the only thing with Idun is that she is not a diligent. But do we have one who is diligent and grey eminence? I don't think so. Oh yes we do. Grey eminence, diligent, cynical, that's not too bad, but kind. No, oh, that's pretty good. Let's get Eliza to uh, teach you the ways of diplomacy. Wanna is a twin. Um, and she's actually pretty good in martial. But I don't think there's a future for her in that. Unless I get her tolerance up and she can do whatever job she wants. But in 955, in the 10th century, that's a lot of work to get that far. So I think we're going to go for, well, stewardship or learning. Yeah, maybe you can become a priestess. Which would actually also be useful. Um, so we want somebody who is diligent, like Rotzrock. But we would want somebody who is actually educated in learning. She's zealous and honest. No, let's do Helena. And this is the other twin, right? Vina and Wona. Um,
if she's any good with Itun. Okay, uh, all right. Let's go for it. Hmm, that we're in Charm of Bava, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I've decided to accept your suggestion for betrothal between Berko and Anastasia. Great. My Chancellor Lothair has improved relations with Count Karl of Friesland. That's great. Uh, we have a daughter. Augusta. Oh. Godzilla. Godzilla. No. Blanca. Oh. Hilda. Hmm. Um is where this comes from. Yeah, uh, we'll accept that. Uh, just yeah, she shouldn't get married. She's strong and sickly. Hmm. And let me quickly check how the stream is doing. Zero dropped frames. CPU at eight percent. I could probably up the um, the encoder settings even more. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. Um, well, little Honda still appears slightly weaker than other children her age. I swear she's much more energetic than she was a couple of weeks ago. Has it already been a couple of weeks? I think it's only been a couple of days, but whatever. Uh, she might not be out of the woods quite yet, but the worst has passed. Thank you, Siko, for giving my daughter a second chance. That's quite a name, eh, Siko, for uh, a court physician. <laughs> All right. I'm threatening. Well, it's going lower and lower. Message about invite a plot. Machtild, what are you planning? You want to kill Parathi of Arta, who is my courtier and uh, has done nothing wrong except she's rivals with your friend or something. I don't like her. Why do I not like her? She's gluttonous, but so am I. She's an infidel. Yeah, no. Well, she has no claim, so it's we can't use her, but... Uh, decline. And you really should not. At your 16th year of age, you've just become of age be plotting against oh you're gay and a lunatic and lustful and paranoid and you're a flamboyant schemer that's why you're going she turned you down didn't she that's why you want to kill her i'm so disappointed i really am also, I do not want lunatics in my court. Hmm. But there, yeah, we have other stuff plots, so. We have zero threats. There are no factions. Our religion is the greatest. No, we don't want to become a monk just yet. Construction, maybe. Let's do construction first. And here we could do skirmish techniques. Yeah, might as well get that up to two. It's the last one. Here, if we 
don't really care about these opinion modifiers because everybody loves us. You know, want this majesty and legalism. Right? Well, there's this guy, but everybody else loves us. We still have the business focus. Okay, good, let's go on. Maybe we should, I'm thinking now, maybe we should marry away. Oh, I have a lot of people who are now of age. Yeah. But our crazy daughter, not this one. This one is perfectly fine. Martelt. Uh, but she's homosexual. Nobody will take her in marriage, probably. Count of Crimea. Chief of Shaland. Hmm. Bornholm. There are some interesting choices. House of Iona. Yeah. Kyle, the chief of Usima. Yeah, I've been looking at the um, at a possible start for CK3, and this is one of my thoughts. Well, for the the 1066 start. Usima. And then uh, bring it to the uh, United Kingdom of Finland, swallow me. Earl of Gower, where is that? Where are you? That's somewhere here, isn't it? It's hard to see with the UI. Um, yeah, here. That's neatly out of the way. And he's also gay. So if he has a lesbian wife, right, just for show, I think uh, they would give each other space to do what they want, right? Yeah, would you like to uh, get married? You would like to get married, actually. But you're a homosexual. See? It's just uh, for sure. Yeah, Machtelt here. She, uh, she of this is of a similar persuasion as you. She's also a lunatic, but... Yeah, that's not part of the disclosed information I get. Guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's go for it. To get Kent would be more useful, I guess, or Essex even. But uh, at least now we have... We're getting our lunatic daughter out of the way. Um, speaking of Essex, King Wiglove. So we have a king here now. We didn't start the game with any kings. He worked his way up. From Duke, probably. Yeah, you were the first. You were the first. Okay, and you have some daughters. You have lots of daughters. Your eldest is already married. You should have kept an eye on that, but... Never mind. And then there's this. Queen Mildred of Cumbria, she's already a queen. And she's betrothed with her father. Oh my goodness. I see what you did there. Okay, this one is still not married. Strong claim on the King of Cumbria. 
Yeah, it might be good to have some, um, well, at least non-aggression packs with the bigger rulers around us. Paris is also something we need to look at. Yeah. Um, you, El Kifu, with, well, we have lots of uh, interesting sons, right? Maybe we should have a look at your stats. They are not very good. They are not very good. Uh, but then you're still being educated in duty. So maybe somebody who is more martial would be interesting for you. He is very strong, right? He's just, he may be stubborn, but he's just. Huh. She will not accept the offer. Oh, because you're already a countess, so you want to matter linearly. Nah, that's not going to happen. I think I should give some counties to my sons then. Yeah. Well, that is a consideration. is a consideration. Who's standing here? I was a soldier. That doesn't look very good. Raiders. Right, we should get our uh, chancellor there, right? Yeah. So I guess if I make my sons count, then you might accept one of them. I mean, you're not an heir. I mean, father's heir is the eldest daughter, but then he's also married to, well, betrothed to his second daughter. Yeah, he's still hoping for sons, eh? First, send our chancellor to Iperen. Um, so our son heir will get married to Anastasia very soon, and then we shall give him Brabant. Yeah. What do we need to do with the other sons? Andrik, you need a wife too. Preferably somebody who's good in diplomacy or stewardship. And then I'll give you like one of these counties and keep this as the core of our domain. And then when I become king, I can give you the duchy of this stuff. Although I have so many children that I will be needing to give something. Yeah, okay, what shall we do? Shall we start with Friesland? No, we can't because there's already a count there. <gasps> That's right, we just subjugated him. We didn't actually take over his land. Unlike these. Yeah, so maybe Ghent 
in a Brabant for Perco. Um, where can, can we see the amount of tax it brings in? Total county tax. Pay to us. Okay. Seventeen six seven and here to Alexandria. That's more. Yeah, I guess we'll give Andre a hand. But we should get him married first. Although we can get better. people if we actually hmm. uh, we said this Divine of Shreftio oh. I've actually been there beautiful place um, yeah that is Emily Money, I was way too old. Svenislava and you have a claim to Oslavo, but you're a courtier now. You are preeminent, chaste, intelligent. Hmm. The relative old baron. Yeah, well, we don't care too much about that. Ah, Machtel is getting married. Very good. And so is Andrik. And we've got another daughter with Peter Nell, our lover, named. Eleanor. Hmm. Acknowledge her and change her name. This is if we already have an Eleanor. Oh, that's okay. Um, and we were going to go back to Andrik, although he's heir to the county of Brabant. Berko is heir to the count, to the Duchy of West Virginia. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Um, in kind of Zealand. But I wanted him in Bradlands. So we can change that reign. Alright, let's give him Gent with lower titles. There we go. Count Andrik of Gent. And then uh, Berko, he's about to get married, right? Yes. See? Uh, betrothed can marry. Uh, yes. Send. And blessings upon you and your house, except your suggestion of Bergo and Anastasia get married. Great. Then I give you the... What? No. Why can't I give him Bravo? That makes no sense. It is hard to feel proud when one has nothing to be proud of, but I have plenty to be proud of. Why can't I give him the county of Brabant? Right? This is something that makes no sense. It's not the first time it happens in this game. Maybe if I reload, 
then it's possible, but um, I should be able to give him any of my counties, any of my uh, direct possessions. I'm certainly not giving him the county of Zeeland until I die. I mean, I would even be willing to give him Kenamalant. Right? Makes no sense. Okay. Um, I know I can fix that with the uh, console. Right? So, if we are later unable to do that, then we might just end up fixing it another way. Okay. According to your marshal, the the peasants of Zeland are having frequent troubles with highwaymen and wild beasts. He suggests constructing a series of outposts along the roads of Zeland. Well, that's a great idea. The peasantry would feel much safer and it might even lead to more peasants moving to the county. A safe peasant is a productive peasant. Yes, that's for sure. Okay. Uh, and we are no longer threatening, right? Well, 4%, but that means we can now attack if we get a claim. Do we have anything on Hanaland? Subjugation. For 500 karma. I don't have 500 karma. This for prestige. Yeah, we have plenty of prestige. That might, we might be able to do. That may be the way forward. Hmm. Shall we? We shall. Um, how many troops does he have? He has 826, but he has an alliance with Nordgal, and I'm sure he will call them in, although they also don't have too many, but between the two of them they do have some money. Okay, um, no, no, I want the military. 4,000 troops. That's quite a bit. Uh, we don't need all of them. Uh, these two can go home. And the others, 3,500. Yeah, they can go here first. Nice and centralized. Join us. Um, yeah, the middle one should definitely have a few more. They get the prompt to attack. Um, we have an organizer, so let's put him there. Uh, Damas here. And uh, yeah, I guess Herbert here. Okay. And then uh, go beat the asses. Great, the craftsman that you funded a couple of years ago. Well, I did that several times in different places, but yes. They have returned to tell you of their success. With your support, they were able to set up their business and it's now one of the most profitable enterprises in Tuxandria. Great, more taxes for me. City tax plus 10 and a uh, hundred just right into our coffers a victory in Utrecht of course what did you expect now we go take their land are they gonna go to Middleburg now to Xandria they don't even have enough soldiers although if they reinforce with 10 more they will have uh, 
Country, Siege of Nemea. Great. Oh, they got some help from Nordgar that finally arrived. I think I'm going to siege this down faster than you're destroying my beautiful Toxandria. Uh, Zutfer, okay, 100%. Offer of peace, of course, the mass of Count Otto is now my vassal, and he hates my guts, of course. That's only to be understood. And your steward, Nachshon, has collected special tithes. Great. Wow, that's a lot of money. And uh, our army can go home. So. Can we do with this guy? Um, he is a half decent diplomat. Oh, he has the seduction focus. Have any lovers? Not yet. And no concubines either. Oh. Um, if we send you a gift, we'll probably have to pay a lot of money. No, just 15. Alright, we can do that. And now he likes us. Ludbert. Uh, what are you good at? A bit of everything, but intrigue. We put you with a commander. Um, intrigue or learning? Yeah, intrigue is always a bit dangerous. We need to make sure that they keep liking us. But let's try that. And who do we have that is good at that stuff? Only a spy master, really. Okay. And Achte. Um, yeah, I guess stewardship for you. And Tazur is me, Midas touched. It's good. Yeah, no, we'll keep you with her. That seems to be working out just fine. You're also left handed. Okay. Alright. Training grounds. Okay. We should. Yeah, we knew that. Okay, flourishing, prospering. And they went to Fence, you went to Gower, I suppose you say that. Although, in Welsh, you never know. Um, okay, so that already looks better. Does this guy like us? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, he wants to be on the council, but come on, you're only slightly good at learning. Slightly. You're not good at anything, really. Yeah. Sorry to say, but... Um, and then you have five counties. How did that happen? If I send you a gift, yeah, that's 95. No, that's that's way too much. We're still swaying you? No, we're not. Let's try to sway him a little. Then he might like us more. And we have less revolt risk. And better opinions. Okay, for some reason Luxembourg really likes us. Why do you like us? Because we're just awesome. Yeah. And sexy. Okay. You just got married. He doesn't like us that much, but, well, it doesn't matter.
How are we doing with our uh, our claim on Ipera? We still have no claim. Should I reassign you? this yet do we? Yeah we can. Six would only be fifty percent, or we need fifty one percent, so we need two more. And then we can claim ourselves to be king. So, yeah, I'll hold on to the Duchy of Brabant. And then, when we can become king, I'll give that Duchy away to my son. Because if I do that now, he will be independent. And we have only one duchy type. No good. And uh, I think I need a little break, give my voice a rest, and then we'll continue.